Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. And today, we're going to be going over a few of the new DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys figures that they've revealed in the last couple days. Some cool ones here and there. Just as a spoiler, just as a heads up, uh, no Batmans will appear in this video. There might be Batman characters, right? But no actual Batman. So yeah, yeah, they're uh, they're getting better, right? I'm sure they got plenty more Batmans on the way. Don't you worry. As always, if you're interested in any of these figures, I will have the applicable links down in the description below. Walmart, Amazon, Entertainment Earth, yada yada. Thanks for using my links. They'll help the channel to grow. Now, to kick it off, we are going to be getting a new Godspeed figure. A lot of people have been asking for this guy, right? I mean, a lot of people have been asking. I myself had to kind of look up his character, to be quite honest with you. I know of Godspeed, but to tell you that his name is August Hart, and he was Barry Allen's partner at one point, and he's... He's like a vigilante, good guy, bad guy. Like, bad guy, yeah, and then kind of good guy again. Might be dead, might not. Who knows? Nothing stays dead in the uh, DC Comics multiverse. But uh, this guy comes with the card in the stand. Here's an honest question. You gotta know, because a lot of people have been talking about this lately. What is the obsession with the card art and not looking... Like, a lot of people go, oh man, the figure looks great. But, I'm not going to buy it because the card is terrible. Does the card really matter? I'm honestly asking. I take the cards out, and I put them in my binder, and then I never see them again. Sometimes I'll read the bios, right? It's just an extra little packing, but does the card thing really matter? It seems like a nitpick to me. Like a big, like I gotta complain about something, so I'm gonna zero in on that. If there's no Batmans to complain about, then I have to complain about something. But I'll give it to him all day. This uh, Godspeed figure looks great. Nice white, nice gold. Comes with a couple electrical effects. They look like electrical effects and not ice effects. So that's pretty cool, right? Like the Black Adam of the Endless uh, Winter. So packaging, the huge, same old, same old. But uh, yeah, very cool looking Godspeed figure. And of course, talking about speedsters here, our next figure is going to be the CW Season 7 version of The Flash. Right there, you can see the box art right there from the actual DVD cover. Now, speaking of card art, we'll just say this. The figure itself on the card looks a little bit different, perhaps variant. Maybe they changed it halfway. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. But this is the only uh, Flash CW figure that uh, we're talking about today. Comes with a couple electrical effects. So, th this one honestly is not my cup of tea. I don't watch the CW Flash. I don't really get into those Shows I did try with a few of them. I even tried Black Lightning, you know, Green Arrow. It just it didn't work for me ultimately. Even what Legends of Tomorrow, it, they're not bad by any means, but I just didn't stay up with them. So hey, for those of you obsessed with the show, I hear a lot of people are very happy about this figure. I also hear the moans and the groans. Don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah, if you want a cool looking CW season seven version of the Flash. Uh, he'll be a coming soon. And then next up, Walmart put this guy up. Now, whether or not there will be another version or not, we'll just have to stick with this one as of right now. This is what they are showing. So he's up for pre-order. I'll put the link, yada, yada. This particular figure is Jonathan Kent, Superman's son from the recent Future State comics. And a lot of people are saying, well, wait a minute. He's supposed to have a cape and such. The Future State version of him, the uh, when they first came out with all of that, did not have a cape. The figure looks to be pretty spot on. I'll give it to him all day with that. And then, as time went on, now that the uh, Jonathan Kent kind of has a spotlight in some instances, he does have a cape. A little bit different of a costume. And yes, we all know that he is bisexual, gay, whatever you want to say it. Deal with it. It's 2022. Move on. Anyways, we have a figure that looks... We'll say, I think the costume is cool. Kind of Miracle Man-ish, right? <laughs> but I wouldn't say that head sculpt, head portrait is my favorite. He's kind of got the wicked energy eyes going on, which I don't mind. But as I always say, let's wait till the figure is in hand because sometimes McFarlane Toys' uh, photography doesn't do the figures justice. But uh, I did find some instances online, you know, he's either the mad face or... Or it's a different costume, but that would have been kind of cool. They have the really cool, like, energy uh, heat kind of glaring off his face. You know what I mean? That'd be, uh, that'd be kind of cool. I'm just saying. But, uh, yeah, this one comes with a flight stand. Again, not my favorite head portrait. I'll reserve judgment till I see it in hand. But besides that, yeah, not a bad-looking figure. Kind of 
we'll see about the diaper thing too. Let's just be honest. But standard DC multiverse packaging and uh, not uh, much going on in the back. You don't even get a cross sell on the back unless it's just like uh, early mock-ups. We'll have to wait and see. And then, shh, quiet. I'm talking about Hush here. Hush, which was revealed, right? He, uh, it, he has a listing up on Walmart. But uh, yeah, I'll put that down below. But he's not, as of this video, we'll just say, keep checking in. Uh, he's not available to pre-order just yet. But Hush, to be quite honest with you, I actually like the look of this figure. I know a lot of people were like, well, wait a minute, he's got a trench coat and he's not going to move around and such. Well, Hush always has a trench coat. That's like his whole shtick, right? I mean, if you want it to open up, I, I get that. But at the same time, it's usually close up. But hey, at least they included a little detail of his mother's necklace around his neck. That's cool. Now, the purple gloves, uh, you know, I'm gonna say maybe it's kind of how it appears in a certain comic book cover or panel at one point. I myself prefer like the brown gloves, but the purple's not too bad. It's more of the surgeon kind of purple glove, right? Which would fit Dr. Thomas Elliot or whoever the heck Hush is these days. He's definitely not the Riddler. Don't even go down uh, that animated alley. But I always liked the character of Hush. I thought, it, as maximum clonage confusing as it kind of is uh, with bringing back Jason Todd, I really liked that version of Jason Todd. I like that old DC direct. I have that, actually I actually have the Hush figure, but uh, yeah, they have the Jason Todd in that outfit as well. That to me is very Hush. This version with the more jacket open, he's got a different belt and such. It could have gone either way. Again, I'll reserve judgment to really see how this figure goes once in hand. Now, again, he doesn't have guns. That's that whole WB mandate. They don't want these weapons coming with figures. That's unfortunate. It's like, ah, oh, man, because we all know. Yeah, these, uh, you know, Hush in particular, he always has guns. My DC Direct figure has sculpted in guns in his hands, right? So you can't, can't take those away from him. He comes with two knives or machetes. I mean, they're rather large knives. Now, hear me out. Perhaps these could be bullet shooting knives. We don't know. <laughs> we don't. We don't know yet. But uh, I would say the jacket again could use a little wash here and there. But uh, I'm excited to see a new Hush figure. I'm glad they're doing that. I like the little nods. Uh, spoilers, right? If you want to click off real quick, you know, just in case. But spoilers, spoilers, there you go. I like the nod to Hush in the new The Batman movie, right? Maybe we'll see him later down the road. But uh, yeah, he's a good looking figure. You can even use him as a Batman Beyond villain if you wanted to go that route. But standard DC multiverse packaging. And uh, yeah, I'm out of all of these, I'm really looking forward to Hush. I'll tell you that right now. And real quick, not a whole lot to talk about with this guy just yet. But they did show off and tease Grifter. Grifter, if you don't know him, Wildstorm Comics, Wildcats team, all that kind of stuff. He resides now in the DC Universe. Has for some time. So this is more, I mean, let's be honest, it's one photo. But it's not exactly my favorite look for Grifter. I'm glad they got the mask. You know, the mask really does make this guy, but... It's more of his DC Rebirth look as far as very simplified. He does have the bulletproof vest and such. But along with Hush, this is the guy that, if anything, needs guns. This is the guy that needs uh, guns. But uh, again, yeah, he looks like he's got a sword, knife. We need a weapons pack. Put it under the spawn label. We need it. Let's go. Comment down below if you want to see a weapons pack and a half. I call it the spawn weapons pack. I don't care, but we, yeah, we definitely need some uh, some weapons for these guys just to really soup them up because they seem so empty without them. You know what I mean? You see these characters and you go, yeah, I mean, I get that they're trying to add something to the box, but that we really need some weapons that fit these characters most definitely. So that's going to kind of wrap it up for my look at these brand new upcoming DC Multiverse characters. Again, I'll have the links down in the description below, you can pre-order them when applicable. I would say these are on the horizon, maybe into April, maybe a little short of uh, end of April into May. We'll say things like that. But uh, of course, shipping is up in the air right now. But as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember... It's 2022, all right? Jonathan Kent should be the least of your worries. Look at the gas prices. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.